using a weather balloon for photography is sort of like a crossroads between science and art because you're using a scientific instrument really to achieve an artistic end. This freaks me out if, if these zip ties came loose, there goes the balloon. It's probably as close as I'll ever come to touching space. After consulting satellite imagery online, I'll look at a lot of road atlases and national park maps, forest service maps. So what I'm interested in doing is capturing scenes of familiar landmarks, but from a unique perspective. The Grand Canyon is a good example of that. This camera is getting a heat pack directly under it, because last time it did not like the cold. When I build the payload box, I'll try to cover every angle that I can with cameras. Basically, you set the wheels in motion, but after you let it go from your hands, it's out of your control. And so it's operating on a bit of luck and planning. Nothing. It's come to the point these days where technically and financially an average person can actually send a weather balloon almost to the edge of space. Mount Everest is about 29,000 feet high, roughly, and the balloon will fly over three times as high as Everest. And you're actually above 99% of the mass of the atmosphere. Sound doesn't carry very well. Your blood would boil and you'd die rather quickly at that altitude. The atmospheric pressure keeps the helium from expanding. So the higher it goes in the atmosphere, the larger the balloon grows. At some point the helium wins and the balloon will explode into fragments and the helium will keep going into space. The payload will plummet very, very fast toward the ground. About a third of a mile. So basically, we just have to walk toward it. Oh, we're almost on top of it. There it is. Holy cow. Look at that. Everything's intact. I like it because it's unique and very, very few people are doing it purely for photographic interest. It combines my interest in photography, interest in space, and interest in adventure. I mean, the Grand Canyon is a spectacular place. You could spend your lifetime just photographing it in all its various moods and different weather. And to get it from a unique perspective from the edge of space, I think is special.